What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another Modern Warfare Remastered video here today on the channel. With this one, it's going to be another 50 facts, 50 things that you may or may not know about Modern Warfare Remastered. You guys seem to absolutely love the first one that we did here of this, so I figured let's do another 50. This did get a little bit tedious to do because I found myself crossing over and I think I got a pinpoint down to a point where I did not have any crossovers from last episode regarding Modern Warfare Remastered. But if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything Modern Warfare Remastered and of course Infinite Warfare and leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below Would you guys like to see more 50 facts on Modern Warfare Remastered more 50 facts on Infinite Warfare or do you care if I drop into other Call of Duty games? Maybe like throwbacks to Black Ops 2 Modern Warfare 3 or something like that Leave your thoughts down there in the comments, but all that said let's talk about the facts here with this one Let's jump right into it firstly number one the iconic game intro that COD 4 had the 50,000 people used to live here that one that everybody knows it's no longer there it's been replaced by simply a more flashy a quicker one to get you right into the game and boot it up for you number two is the final six maps are going to be coming next month here for playstation 4 xbox one and pc that's what we're told at this time we were promised by december 31st is when we would get this so next month is a very good guess here as for that fact number three is that we had something very unique happen with modern warfare remastered this year never before have we had a game completely installed on our hard drive and accessible weeks and months before the game actually launched that it's either tethered to or the full game itself. PlayStation 4 had the campaign early by an entire month, so they had the game installed and ready to go as of launch and all that kind of stuff where you had to update it and get another additional piece for the multiplayer, but overall it was still in the game what was installed, so players for the first time ever were able to play the game freely and openly upwards of a week before the game actually launched. I remember playing Modern Warfare Remastered a little bit by myself and with some friends when servers were going up and down for stress testing and it was a few days early. So that was a fairly unique thing that we've never seen before. The next thing is the campaign has had some altered Easter eggs, but otherwise is still relatively exactly the same. One of those Easter eggs is the ability to alter the future by killing Makarov in one shot, one kill. Whereas you're trying to take out Imran Zakaev, this also gives you the ability to shoot afterwards and take out Makarov, who was his convoy's escape artist. Additionally, pieces of the campaign were redone via motion capture to get more lifelike images and graphics thanks to the new tech. It also captured a more lifelike feel. One of the things that I remember being described to me out of one of the press briefings was the fact that on the mission crew expendable, whenever you're trying to flee the ship and get out of there, Price and all the other guys running out will interact with the environment a lot more, actually stumble, whereas it's more realistic, instead of just, say, walking along a path designated by the motion capture previously. So it's definitely something very cool and very much so needed and helps out with the atmosphere of the game. Sticking with the campaign facts here additionally is the fact that a new addition to FNG is the explosions course that you can take part in here with this. Previously, it was available, but only on PC and via modding. So it had to have been brought up from the game code and actually put into the game, it wasn't available for anybody on console. Additionally, there are extra cheats for the Intel items within Modern Warfare Remastered. There's more than there was in COD 4, and unlike Black Ops 3, players cannot see their legs in campaign. That's something that I got a lot of questioning about, but you can't actually see it in the campaign. So, adding onto the list here, the AC-130 fire sounds have been altered in the mission. I believe it's called Death From Above. Don't hold me to that. That's right off the top of my head, but another thing that we've mentioned is the Desert Eagle's fire sound was different as well. Mission description were added and much more in depth for the menu of the campaign. Whenever you go and hover over the mission you want to select, it gives you a much more in depth version than that of COD 4 back in 2007. Additionally, there are mission excerpts playing in the background of the menu instead of just a bland screen with a soldier silhouetted out in black. The arcade mode returns in COD 4 as well, and pre launch, there was a different announcer for many of the factions in multiplayer, which is something that a lot of people were not too fond of. That was something that we noticed out at COD XP, but it is what it is, and I believe now they're all fixed. In multiplayer, there are 25 create a class slots, which is something that is incredibly new for Call of Duty. We've had slots where you can buy them, but right now there are 25 create a class slots and choices, not internally inside of what you can put on a class, but for classes overall. One create a class slot is designated for each prestige. There are five default, and then there are 20 prestigious with a thousand levels to follow thereafter. So that is pretty much the basis of it, and it covers all bases on that. There are brand new higher camo tiers than in COD 4 back in 2007. 
Regal is the new diamond camo of Modern Warfare Remastered, something definitely worth going for. And of course, Exclusion Zone is the dark matter of Modern Warfare Remastered. Again, very much so worth going for, but definitely will take a little bit of the grind here with this. Weapons have been found in the game code, which some people may think is leading to DLC and supply drops within Modern Warfare Remastered. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, but that's what some people are theorizing right now. A shovel melee weapon is in the code, making it seem just like Black Ops 3's DLC weapons with a bunch of melee weapons on the horizon. Once again, I hope it doesn't come to that, but it is possible. The M40 A3 with the ACOG is once again a one hit kill anywhere on the body without jug. If the player does not have jug, you can shoot them in the toes, you'll get a one shot kill. And also if it's in the head still, of course, you'll get the one shot kill with that. So a nice little attachment to run on that. The XP bar is returning in Modern Warfare Remastered and the XP bar has been again redesigned very slightly since the original COD 4. The center console of the HUD showcasing the streaks, equipment and night vision has been redesigned. Faction icons have been slightly redesigned as well, and of course, trick shot friendly spots do return in Modern Warfare Remastered. If you had a favorite spot back in COD 4, chances are they will be returning for you guys here in Modern Warfare Remastered, and you can hit the same shots. The TDM score limit is the same as the classic COD 4, despite in recent years it being 100 kills, it is 75 kills for the win in TDM. The combat record returns in Modern Warfare Remastered, that's something that is new to COD 4, but also stays true to recent years in Call of Duty and the franchise as a whole whole. As it stands right now, it is more complete than Infinite Warfare's combat record, which is something that I'm sure some people may find comical and some people may find worrying. As of recording this video right now, a total of 2,021,934 unique logins have been made according to the leaderboards in Modern Warfare Remastered, and that's only on PlayStation 4. We can presume it is almost the same for Xbox One and then slightly lower for PC because the PC community is slightly dwindling in terms of the player numbers with Call of Duty. There is an ability to sort via the leaderboard, which is a returning option, and the leaderboard filter options are available as well for old school, classic, and hardcore mode. So it's something very cool and very true to see what you can look at for each one of those modes. If you make it into the top 1%, 5%, or 10% of the Modern Warfare Remastered leaderboards, you'll have a special little icon next to your name, which is definitely something that I think is very cool. I'm probably never going to get that, but it is something cool to think about and to look at, and if you guys are on the grind, you might end up getting it. Challenges have been redesigned in the combat record, which is something very cool I think here with this. Each weapon is now showcased in their own respective weapon class, and separate categories for attachment challenges, camo challenges, and career challenges have been added, so you have those three to check on at any point in time, you can see how far along with a certain challenge you are. There are percentages that are showcased for how far you've completed it for the at glance view on the right hand side of the challenges menu before you enter into any specific challenge, it is something that is right there in plain view. Animated calling cards are returning here within this and it's something that's new compared to COD 4 back in 2007, but it is something that is consistent with the last few years of Call of Duty and definitely something that I think is cool and worth going for. Weapon stickers act as CSGO stickers the same way that CSGO stickers on weapons work like that and presumably is one of the reasons why you can now have an inspect animation in Modern Warfare Remastered. Not only to check out the cool brand new camos and all that kind of stuff in Modern Warfare Remastered, but if there's a sticker on your weapon, you can showcase it, look at it, and do all that kind of stuff here with it. So it's definitely a nice little addition here, I think, and very cool for the customization options that are in Modern Warfare Remastered, all while keeping the game true to what it was back then. Camo challenges additionally stay true for headshots, but there have been additional challenges that have been added for certain camos, within Modern Warfare Remastered. As we mentioned, there are a lot of brand new camos within Modern Warfare Remastered as for just the old classic, I want to say six camos that were in COD 4, but there are a bunch more, I believe double now, so there's double the challenges and some are definitely some ones you may recognize. Some things being like no attachments, a certain amount of kills with no attachments, that is, for a specific challenge. The red dot sight challenges are needed and of course, that then leads to other camos that are brand new within Modern Warfare Remastered. There are brand new challenge patches and emblems in Modern Warfare Remastered that does play into the patches and all that kind of stuff like that, but also rewards you for different challenges within the game. Score per minute is added in Modern Warfare Remastered. That's something that up until recently, I think it was Black Ops 2, wasn't really cared about all that much in terms of the grand scheme of things. It was only KD, that's how you got your kills. Your kills earned kill streaks instead of score streaks now within recent years. So 
so score per minute has returned within modern warfare remastered standard kills assists and all the like return in the quick view of the barracks before you enter into anything else along with your playtime and all that good stuff that i think you guys will recognize from the original cod 4 but slightly redesigned so that's a nice thing here with this fact number 49 is that character patches are a brand new feature for things that allow you to customize your player and then 50 is the fact that character patches now show up on your player in menu and in game so you can see them on your character model in game you specifically cannot really but every other player can if they come close enough to you and then in menu when your character and your operator is in plain view here waiting for the game to start you can see it on that as well so that is where we're gonna wrap it up here with this one ladies and gentlemen that has been 50 more facts about modern warfare remastered hopefully you guys did enjoy i have a ton of fun with these kind of things i love bringing you guys these facts these numbered things like that all that kind of stuff same with the five things but i just have a ton of fun with it hopefully you guys did enjoy and if you guys did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe once again let me know what you think down there in the comment section down below do you want me to try and do some more modern warfare remastered facts do you want me to try and do some more infinite warfare 50 facts or do you want me to switch over into different call of duty games do a little bit of throwback here with this bring guys some action from different call of duties that you might not remember and some things that you might just have a lot of fun with experimenting around and saying hey you know what that's pretty cool i like that but whatever it is leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below super excited to hear your feedback here on this one i had a ton of fun with it hopefully you guys did enjoy thank you guys though so much for watching my name is nicole espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace